Namaste Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens. I love you guys, hope you're all well and safe. I have a few messages in my notebook, but overall energy of this reading is the Two of Cups in the reverse. There's an energy here of a connection, a relationship. This could be a connection with somebody that you are dating, somebody you've been seeing, or you're in a, you've been in a relationship with. This could be an energy of a family member, somebody that you know you were once very close to, or somebody that really felt like or feels like they hold a lot of power over you or over your life because the two of cups is in reverse. So this is like a connection that's burdening you, a connection that's stressing you out, a connection that's taking from your energy and not giving to your energy. It's not reciprocating back the love. It's not reciprocating back the energy that you've been putting into it. So basically like the two of cups in reverse is basically like you're not, you're not satisfied with the way things are going in this connection in a partnership all right there could be disharmony here for some of you guys if this isn't like a relationship or a connection with a family member or a loved one or a close friend this could be a, a business partnership going left two people not working together the right way things not going um smoothly this could be for somebody watching a business partnership that's going to have to end because somebody's dragging their feet and they could be blocking the business. They could be blocking you. All right, side message, not for everybody, but for the most part, this is for the most of you watching. There's the two of cups in the reverse. There's a connection or um, a soul tie between you and this person that you basically need to uh, get over or you need to put it to rest or you need to heal your heart from it and walk away. Because this connection is going to take all your energy, deplete you, leave you in your head, leave you in your two of swords, leave you questioning yourself and your decisions. All right. I, I chose these three decks, specific three decks that I chose. I shuffled some cards and then I turned the, I turned the deck over and chose a card from the top of the deck as the main energy. So this was the card on the top of the deck after I shuffled this deck. The second card underneath this card in the deck is temperance in the reverse so you guys could be dealing with a, a Sagittarius you guys could be dealing with a Pisces Cancer Scorpio energy all right or you could have these energies anywhere in your chart but there's a connection here that's not making you happy there's a situation that's draining or straining your energy out there's somebody that could be doing things intentionally in order to make you feel like you're not important in order to make you feel like you're not blessed in order to make you feel like nothing good's going on or you're not that you're not good enough for this person to come correct or for this person to reciprocate or for them to be honest with you hmm all right now this could be a family member friend lover ex or somebody you're in business partnership with all right now on this deck i shuffled the deck i flipped over the first card the letter m n or n came out so whoever you are watching, male or female, you could be dealing with somebody with these letters in their first or last name, M, N, or O, first or last name, even if it's a nickname, M, M, N, or O. The next card that came out behind this card is the FBI investigation. Somebody could have started an illegal investigation against you, Aries, because they made up some sort of lies, false reports. This person was trying to ruin your reputation or destroy your life. And now whoever this person is that got some sort of weird investigation going on against you. This individual, now they're being investigated. Because mm. it turns out that this person was doing something fraudulent with your information. Or this person was doing something fraudulent in their own life. And this person was making up fabricated lies about you or reports. Yeah, this person could be fake checking up on you around this time. Be mindful. This person could be fake checking up on you because they're afraid that this whole FBI investigation is coming to a, a, a head. And this person could have been working with somebody with the letter M, N, or O together with this person. And this person is checking up on you now because they're nervous, they're, they're in fear, they're afraid that something's coming back to haunt them. That something's coming to their front door. Something regarding real estate or property. 
all right this could have something to do with property or real estate or somebody interfering in your um life trying to make you cause you to lose a home or somebody that knows the truth about some sort of property or real estate that was left behind to you in an inheritance that wasn't given to you this person could have fake signed some sort of paper pretending to be you in order for them to steal it this person could have got paid off a little bit of money or some something came out of this for this person but now they're being haunted by the reality of the fact that they really did you dirty. They betrayed you. They tried to steal or they conspired with this family member or this ex of yours. The letter D, E, or F could be a mother, father. Yeah, the letter D, E, or F is significant to whoever's involved. This is what's coming out on this deck. Beauty spells. This person could have be, been um, jealous of your beauty or the way you look, male or female. You, the, way, the way you look and how much attention you get. Somebody could be um, bisexual or gay, you or them. Becoming famous. All right, you were meant to be seen in the spotlight. So for whoever you are, you could be getting an opportunity in the spotlight. You could be world-renowned or you could be, you know, you're coming out. You're going to be seen. You're not going to be hidden. Your energy is gold. It's magnetic. You shine wherever you go. I heard, if you say, if you are what you say you are, a superstar, have no fears. So yeah, you are what you say you are. You're a superstar, you're intelligent, you're, 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 you have multiple gifts, you have a great personality, you have a beautiful mind, you're manifesting what you want, entrepreneur energy, boss energy. Holding back, this is what came out on this deck since I shuffled and pulled the first card out. Holding back, somebody's been holding back. Yeah, they know they've been holding back. They should have expressed to you that they were sorry. They should have expressed to you that you were good enough. They should have did the right thing by you. They should have came to you with the truth. And no, instead they held back. They made up more lies about you or they convinced themselves that you were the enemy. They held back. They didn't express themselves better. And they left you feeling like you were heartbroken or you were empty or like you felt like you, you know, this person made you feel like you were the bad guy in the situation. And you knew exactly what this person did or you know, you know that you put in your best in this connection, whether it's family, friend, lover, ex, whoever you're dealing with. But this person's holding back or they've held back, expressing themselves, apologizing to you. And now they feel like, you know, their time has run out. Things are really weighing heavy on this person. Things could be going left in this person's life because this person held on to a lot of resentment and bitterness when it comes to you. And so this person is feeling confused. This person is going through some sort of confusion or illusions because this person wanted to confuse other people, manipulate them about you, Aries, about who you really are. They put a lot of false narratives out about you or accusations. Something's backfiring on them. So now this person feels obligated male or female, to come towards you and be honest and tell you the truth about the part they played, about how they really, um, they, they, they're in too deep, all right, how they did something that was criminal uh, against you and uh, they might be going to jail for it or they might be afraid that, you know, they're losing everything so they need to tell you in order for you not to testify against them or for you not to press charges or for you to go easy on them. I don't know what this person wants or maybe they just want everything to stop, their karma to stop, for them to stop being blocked. So they were wrong about you. They misjudged you. They, they, they were misleading other people about you as well. And this person didn't realize how highly favored and protected you really are, Aries, because you're a really genuine person. You have a really good soul and a good spirit, and you really love people, okay, unconditionally, especially people that are close to you. You love hard, okay? And it, it was devastating for you when you found out this person's true intentions or when this person ghosted you when you needed them the most or when they were a part of all the slander and the lies or when this person you tried to help or they worked together with you and all of a sudden they turn around and want to sabotage you. This could be something that misunderstood something you were saying or took something personal or just always had this deep-seated animosity towards you. They couldn't help themselves. But now this person is ready to come clean. Things are getting too close, too intense. Somebody's missing your connection. They're reminiscing. They know that you were a good person in their life. They really want to fix the connection, but they need to work on themselves first. They need to love themselves enough to let go. All right, let go of the bitterness, let go of the resentment, let go of self-sabotaging their own life, coming for you, okay? Because this person told a lot of lies, or they have secrets, hitting secrets that, you know, they never confessed this to you. You could read their energy, and you know there's something going on. You know this person's holding back. 
you know they might have something else going on somewhere else. If this is a lover, if this is somebody you were dating, then you can tell that this person is not being completely honest with you. You know that this person is holding up, um, out, telling you the truth. Well, this person, or you could have just walked away, or you could have started to pull back. You could have just said, I can't do this anymore, because you felt like this person was trying to confuse you, or you felt confused in the connection. This could be a, a message, like, take it how it resonates. Whether you feel confused about this relationship, and this person is coming to speak their truth, or they feel confused because they try to confuse you, and now they're all confused, and they need your help, and they've been holding back, but this person is going to come towards you, whether it's family, friend, or um, ex-friend, lover, ex-lover, whoever this person is, this person is feeling terrible about the part they played in your life. They're feeling terrible about how they um, were quick to throw you under the bus, or were quick to isolate you, or try to have you isolated, or try to make sure that you were defeated and they had some weird vendetta or competition or agenda. But this person really is reflecting. God is showing this person that they really betrayed an earth angel. They really betrayed the person that gave them the most love, the most genuine person on their team or in their life around their energy because they never met somebody like you. See, this person's used to people turning their back on them. They're used to people betraying them. They're used to people trying to get over on them. But when it comes to you, this person thought you were the same type of person or maybe they misjudged you. Maybe they thought you would do the same to them so right away they started being manipulative. Or maybe this person low-key tries to blame you for something that happened along in the past between you guys or something that happened with them that they blame on you. This person really just needs to heal, all right, so they can reflect and understand that if something happened at the time, Aries, you were going through a lot of spiritual warfare, all right? You were not in the best place. You were going through spiritual warfare to the point where this spiritual attack that you were going through, it was meant to destroy your mind. It was meant to drive you insane. It was meant to make you lose your mind, end your life, commit suicide, lose everything, go crazy, end up in a, in a psych ward or whatever the case may be. This um, spell work that you were uh, being attacked by was very powerful. And at the time... <coughs> At the time, Aries, <clears throat> they're trying to block my throat. Give me a second. I must be speaking so much truth right now that this message is going to trigger somebody. Somebody wanted me to stop speaking. But I'm going to continue. At the time when you were being attacked by all these people orchestrating attacks in your life, this person could have been a part of it. They could have been aware of what was going on. But they didn't do anything to warn you. They felt like you deserved it or like that's what you get. Because this person was so scorned and bitter, blaming you for everything happening in their life when they were not li living a healthy lifestyle, when they were in control of feeding their demons. Maybe they were under the influence, they were under narcotics, or they were under the influence of alcohol, or they were just in the low vibrational energy. All right, and you could have tried to help this person, give them advice, but they always pushed you to the side, pushed you away, never listened to your advice, and always had something negative to say about you. So now this person is reevaluating their life and they're reflecting on everything and they're realizing that out of everybody in their life right now and in the past, you were the most realest one. You were the most genuine one. You were the one that showed up even when you didn't have it, you showed up for this person. Okay, and now that you're not in that same mindset, now that you're not over here trying to rescue everybody or feel like you have to, now that you're not trying to prove anything to anybody anymore, you're just trying to reserve your own energy and trying to protect your manifestations. You're trying to um, protect your finances because like this person or, or these individuals, they feel entitled to your energy now. They feel entitled to whatever God is blessing you with now, but these people weren't there for you when you were down and out. These people weren't there for you when you were actually doing the spiritual healing work and reflecting and making better decisions. They were too busy trying to isolate you, trying to ignore you, trying to make you feel crazy, trying to make you feel like you weren't important enough because they couldn't reach out. They couldn't extend their olive branch. They couldn't say anything positive about you. They could just sit there and watch you go through something and laugh and think it was funny and point fingers at you. And this person didn't realize that what they were doing, they were actually cursing themselves. They were actually putting themselves in a negative timeline. They were actually going to lose out on the best thing that ever happened to them, male or female. They're reflecting now about their choices and decisions from the past. But is it too late? Let's see what's going on. Is it too late for this person to redeem themselves with your ancestors? 
Because you might be a very forgiving person, Aries, but your ancestors are not so forgiving. Your ancestors do not forgive very easily. All right? Your ancestors could be really teaching this person like a really a real strong powerful karmic lesson right now your ancestors are not so forgiving so this person needs to repent or they need to change their ways this person needs to go to god this person needs to prioritize their life and their children if they have children or this is what you're doing right now you're, you're cleansing out your aura you're cleansing out your energy you're making things right with the most high god you're paying attention to your your family um or your children more Okay, because your children could be affected by whatever affects you. All right, so orchestrated childhood trauma, you've been through that. And this family member really judged you the most. Even though this person knew, knew everything that you've been through, everything, every, every trauma you experienced, it was orchestrated. You're, right now, you're creating generational wealth for you and your children or your grandkids. If you have any kids or grandkids, if not, don't take that part of the message. But you're creating generational wealth. That's all I know. This is like the Mission Impossible, because I heard... Somebody could like watching that movie, Mission Impossible. Or this is literally, this. your life was a Mission Impossible. But every time there was a trap, you maneuvered your way out of it. You figured your way out of the trap. You have multiple skills and qualities, and you have a lot of spirit animals, and you embody a lot of these animals' traits. All right, for some of you guys, you can have an elephant as a spirit guide or a spirit animal. Animal spirit guide or a spirit animal. Okay, so although you can forgive people, and you can um, heal, and you can walk away, or you can let go, you're just like the elephant. You will never forget. Elephants never forget, but you never forget. Some animals... They forget. They don't remember everything. They just forget so they can walk into the same trap twice. All right. For instance, I watch a lot of nature channel and I study animals. <clears throat> and I discovered that the deers, <clears throat> the deer animal, doesn't have a, a, a memory. They don't remember anything. So the deer can literally fall into a trap today and get out of it. But tomorrow this deer can walk into the same trap because they don't remember what happened yesterday. But an elephant has a long-term memory an elephant never forgets and you never forget all right you can heal you can move on you can forgive and all that stuff you can let go but deep down in, inside and in your mind you will never forget the the, the 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 trauma that you had to endure the the drama that certain people brought to your life the instances where you felt all alone and attacked where they really wanted to isolate you kidnap you or uh disappear you you felt like this Whoever you are, you felt like this. these people literally wanted to disappear you, take you out, sacrifice you. Yes, they tried, they tried, they tried. But you are too valuable to the divine and your purpose and your ancestors and um, for them to allow that to even ever happen to you. This person's now feeling defeated. These individuals, if it's more than one, they're all feeling defeated. Some of them have an ego. Some of them can't let it go. Some of them are going to resist your transformation. Who cares? Some of them are not going to like it. Some of them are going to try to approach you, argue with you. But it just doesn't matter anymore. You can't feed this your energy anymore. You can't let this control your life anymore. The things that people are holding on to, the ways that they treated you, the way that they're trying to treat you now, you can't hold on to these people. You can't hold on to that energy. You have to release them. If they haven't changed by now, Aries, they're never going to change. You've been going through this transformation for a while. You've been making better choices and decisions for a while. This didn't just happen yesterday. If, and for some of you watching, if it happened yesterday, then you're on a whole different timeline than what I'm speaking about right now. But you're going to go through this. You're going to go through people resisting your transformation. You're going to go through people speaking negative about your spiritual beliefs. You're going to go through that. You're going to go through them trying to make you doubt yourself and put you back down into a negative timeline, make you relive the past, blame you for things from the past, never get over it, hold on to grudges. You're going to go through that. But you have to be very diligent and be mindful. What do you put your mind to? What do you believe is to be true? What do you believe is to be real? And that's only one thing. You, God, and your spiritual gifts, your purpose, your loved ones, your family in this lifetime, the ones that are close with you, the ones that show you love, those are the ones that you give your love to. You don't chase nobody that's not chasing you. You don't go out of your way for people that don't go out of the way for you. You don't reciprocate that. Okay, so this is the season, this is the time where you're you're done 
playing ping pong with these people. You're done going back and forth with individuals. You're done letting people do the most in your energy. One strike, you're out. You're not letting people get one, two, and three strikes anymore. One strike, you're out. You're cut off. Because if you allow these people to linger in your energy, they're going to harvest all your good energy. They're going to block all your blessings, and they're going to steal them from you. And the divine is going to allow that to happen until you learn this lesson. Stop holding on to people, places, and things for dear life when they don't suit you. Stop trying to make people fit in your energy if they don't fit, if they don't want to fit. Don't try to force connections and relationships because you're going to keep yourself stagnant, okay? So this is the time for you to heal from rejection, heal from childhood wounds, heal from spiritual attacks, heal from, from people um, doing the most to you, orchestrating things. And worry about the mission. Your mission is so important. I just can't express this enough. Focus on your miss mission. Focus on your journey. Don't let the devil trick you out of your blessings anymore. Okay? They want to isolate you. Keep you divided from your mom, dad, or your siblings. Or your children. Targeting your support system. Yeah, they've been targeting your support system. Alright? And if these people turn their back on you because they were listening to somebody else's manipulation about you then they're going to have to awaken. They're going to have to reflect. They're going to have to experience something where they realize that they were wrong, where they realize that they, they need to clear out their karmic debt, where they need to, you know, ask you for forgiveness or change their ways because things are happening in the spirit realm. People are passing away. People are having crazy uh, altercations. People are having upheavals, tower moments. Losing things, it's like bad weather happening, floods, people's houses being flooded, cars being flooded, power outages, everything is happening. Galactic wars are happening in the ethers, yes, that's true. Weird sightings happening in the skies, the divine is close. So for whoever didn't make it right with God or themselves, it's time, the time is now. To stop holding on to people that are dragging you down into the quicksand and move forward and heal and evolve. Because the time is near for all of us to ascend to the new earth. If you say you choose God in your life, then that means you choose love. That means you choose self-love. And that means you choose healing, okay? You cannot heal while you're bringing neg negative people with you. You cannot bring negative people with resentfulness and bitterness into your energy, into your life when you're trying to heal. You got to let outside people stay away from you at that time. So maybe that's what you're doing. And you're becoming the empress. You're becoming the empress, male or female, the empress of the emperor. You're attracting the Ace of Wands, a major blessing, an opportunity, an offer, a love offer. Things are working out. And the devil knows that these things are working out. Because you're getting somebody that actually is genuine. Somebody that actually is going to reciprocate the love. Somebody that actually appreciates you for being different. Appreciates you for being a healer. Appreciates you for being honest. This is who you're attracting. This is who you are. This is your energy. Ace of Wands, Empress, and the Two of Cups. You could be attracting a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, or a Libra energy. Or you could have those energies. You can embody them. They could be in your chart. But this is a brand new cycle for you. The individuals that are resisting your transformation, they're stuck in a dark timeline, negative timeline. You're, you know, you can't bring these people with you. It's okay. Maybe they're going to choose to heal and reflect at a later time, but you cannot let anybody delay your blessings. You cannot let anybody hold you back. God is ending things for a reason with certain people, showing you who they really are. Letting you know that deep down inside, if you hold on to certain people, they're gonna, your, your wounds are not going to heal completely. Your, your, your energy is going to be kind of stagnant and your manifestations will be a little bit harder to attain or a little bit blocked. Yeah, there's something about some child abuse going on or child neglect or somebody's being charged with this or being accused of this. Yeah, somebody could be getting a speeding ticket or somebody has unpaid tickets and is coming up. You or them. I heard Joshua, Jason, Janice, Wendy, Charles, Tammy, Tamara, Tanya, Lisa, I heard Carl coming to block you. Somebody's coming to block you. I heard Cameron. Bald head and glasses. Somebody could be bald head or they have glasses, either one or both. 
You have an obsessed coworker female that's under judgment. Don't feed this uh, this vampire your energy, Aries. Don't not feed this karmic coworker female poison ivy energy. Fiona energy. Don't feed this karmic female coworker your energy. Keep it moving. Keep your head up. Be happy anyways. Be unbothered. This karmic female co-worker is probably going to get fired or quit the job anyways. Money blockages. Yeah, this person is trying to block your money. Monday morning, you could be getting some news or information or a payout or something's coming on Monday morning. This could be a realization. This could be information. This could be something that happens and you're not expecting it. Don't seek love. Let it find you. Yeah, a huge windfall. Somebody could be winning the lottery, getting a settlement or an investment is coming in. An important phone call. All right? I watch you every day. Somebody's paying attention to you every day, but they need to be worried about their self and their own life because things are going left fast at a rapid pace. But you have the Ace of Wands, the Two of Cups, a beautiful blessing, an opportunity, a partnership, a level up. Don't let the devil steal your blessings because when you're about to win, that's when the devil tries to test you the most. You know, just keep your mind positive, my loves. This is your reading. I hope this helped. I love you guys. Till the next time. If you guys are interested in my protection bracelets, I have all kinds of different protection bracelets available. There's different ones there. Let me know. I even have tiger eyes available. If you're interested in spiritual bath be gone or crown chakra protection spray, let me know. Till the next time, my loves. Namaste.